All right. There's a part of the Johnny Gosh case that always stands out, and I get a lot of emails regarding this, and I wanted uh, both you and uh, Noreen to explain it. There was a time, and this was not long ago, and Johnny is now in his late 30s, If uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but he returned home and spoke to his mother. It was the first time they saw each other for years. And I received a number of emails saying, well, how can this be? I mean, why didn't, uh, what, what's going on here? Why, why did he come back? How could he come back? What, didn't the police want to find out exactly everything he knew? What was really going on here? I think it's an aspect of the case that, Noreen, uh, just explain what happened. And then, Jim, give us your professional opinion of how something like this could occur. Go ahead, Noreen. Okay. I was on a network television program in 1996, December, and they allowed me to give a personal message to Johnny. So the camera came in close, and I said, Johnny, I still live in West Des Moines. I'm not in the house you were raised in. Contact me. I will help you in any way I can. My number is in the phone book. Well, three months later, three and a half months, I think it was, March of 1997, he uh, appeared. 2.30 in the morning, there was a knock on my door. And I went to the door, and there were two young men standing out in the hallway. And I said, who is it? And the one young man said, it's me, Mom, it's Johnny. Now, he was back only for a short time, responding to the TV show that he had seen. And he wanted my help in trying to expose this crime. I thought he was home to stay. He wasn't. He explained that there was no way that he could stay because it would put not only himself in danger but me. Because now, there were people that nine, would want to kill oh, him. A, right, so now it's been after a, a couple of hours, then he okay. and this other young man left. And I went straight to the county attorney. I made an appointment for that very next week and went in and talked to him and told him the information that Johnny shared with me. Now, it's been that's almost 11 years ago. Uh, have you seen him since? No, I have not. Now, Jim Rothstein, how can this occur? Okay, here we have a, a definite kidnapping. He's put in a pedophilia ring. How did this happen, from your professional opinion, so people can understand this? Uh, go ahead. Well... The way this works is, and in particular in this instance with Johnny, uh, I personally interviewed a man who was sent to Chicago to meet and set up the rules for Johnny to go visit his mother. Uh, so this was a very well-planned thing, and Johnny knew exactly what the rules were that he could go home and visit. So anybody who says that this is not true doesn't know what they're talking about. Very few instances does this happen, but it does happen. I had another case where a young boy many, many years later showed up, was there for a couple of hours, and disappeared again. Those people know that there is no way they can come out of the cold uh, in those instances. We did have a couple of years ago where we believed we had the arrangements set up that some of these guys were coming out, including Johnny. But somebody got arrested, and it scared them, and they went back underground. Uh, this stuff, very, very seldom do they ever come back out. Now, tell us why they'd allow this to occur in the first place, and secondly, what uh, do you suppose these rules were that well, he rule had to adhere to? Well, the rules were that he couldn't go to the police. And first of all, going to the police would be signing a death knell. I mean, first of all, they covered it up to start with. What would they do if he came out of the cold? Uh, for, it's just something that don't happen. Uh, mm -hmm. In all the cases I've worked on, nobody uh, directly came out. We had a number of instances where we did have contact with kids who had been taken. We never could find out from where, but we knew... Uh, this was particularly true in New York City, where there were thousands of these type of kids. 
and uh, they just don't go home. It uh, it just don't happen. All right. So you know, I've thought about this aspect of the story, and tell me if I'm right or wrong with an anal- one of the analyses I had. I said, well, what do they benefit by allowing Johnny to go home, knowing Noreen? has a case that's probably uh, one that they want to uh, quiet her from talking anymore, so to speak, like they've tried to for years. And I said, well, why would they benefit? Well, I thought, well, maybe they're thinking, uh, well, anybody looking at the Gosh case can see that her son just walked into her house. What's she complaining about? You see what kind of kid he is? He just comes and goes when he pleases, Right. Is that a bad analysis, or is that a reason behind the scenes why they did this? No, that is a bad analysis because okay. he, knew, he knew he could only go home to visit for a very short period of time. And I believe it was a message that to anybody else that we control this. There is okay. no way out. Okay, and I was just saying it from a point of view of how someone would look at this. Oh, yes, you're from... right. That's very, very true, Greg. You hit the nail on the head. And that was the message. Right, because somebody would look at this and go, well, you see, there he is. What's, uh, nor-, you know, from the outside in, that's, you know, I think that's the impression people will get. And yeah. I just wanted to make sure we can dispel that because, Jim, from your experience, if Johnny ever tried to come home for good, that would maybe sign a death warrant for his mother as well, wouldn't it? Yes, unless, uh, and I believe we now have the capabilities. Uh, of taking care of that, uh, that if somebody wants to come out, that we can handle that and assure them that nothing will happen to the parents or anybody else. Uh, okay. I feel free to say that now. Okay, we have several minutes left, Noreen. So if you haven't seen your son since that, uh, tell us some of the major things that have transpired in those 11 years, if you can, uh, before we part company here. Go ahead. Well, some of the things that have come up since that time were obviously the photographs, and that mm-hmm. created a huge change in the case because it did show that children were being held, tied up, bound, gagged, photographed. The photographs are traded like baseball cards among pedophiles. There are photographs that are much worse than the ones that were displayed of Johnny, uh, much more pornographic in nature. But it is a big business, and they can do it all by Internet now. So it's a money-making proposition for the pedophile. That was huge. From those pictures, other information has come about that we can follow up on, and the latest being the information that we've been able to tie back to the 80s on the trucking industry. And now the local user level present right here in Des Moines, Iowa, and probably present in most major cities. Okay. Uh, Jim, we have a minute or so. Tell us exactly where you're at in this investigation to someday bring Johnny back. I mean, uh, do you still have hope? Yes. Adding to what Noreen has said, just in the last two, three days, uh, we've made another big connection uh, with some people working the smiley face killer thing uh, that has given us another insight into this operation. And I feel we are closer now than we've ever been, and I think that there's going to be some stuff coming out soon. Uh, the only way we can do this, we need people to support and help us do this. It can't be done by one or two people themselves. Okay. You can get more information, uh, listeners, at www.johnnygosh.com. Dot com. Is there another website, uh, Noreen, that I, I've heard of another website people can go to to get more information? Uh, that, that... The, the one you just gave is my website. There is a website that is uh, called www.franklinfiles.net, and that's okay. where uh, people can leave messages. They have a forum where people can submit questions. Okay, we're all out of time. Thank you. We will visit again. Thank you.